Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are going to be doing another object competition. So before we get into today's one we need to go over the results of the previous competition. So without further ado we're just going to hop straight into this. So we actually had a tiebreaker again. So it was uh, on the original vote it was seven votes for um, Era XD here which was his uh, Terraform Goblin TG387. So it was between him and Anominus's uh, Prime object here. One of the uh, cloud objects. Um, so yeah, it was between these two. They both had seven votes each. But in the tiebreaker, Anominus took the win by three votes, beating uh, Era XD 15 to 12. So yeah, congratulations to him. First win of the uh, revived uh, object competition series. So yeah, Anominus takes the win for the terraformed object competition from uh, last time. So yeah, there is uh, our winner. And then uh, yeah, we had uh, Era XD in second with this object here. So, yeah, there we go. Now, on to today's competition. We are doing the Apocalypse Earth competition, as voted by you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, here are the objects here. So, I guess without further ado, we'll just hop straight into it. So, the first one, we'll go with Mr. Missilot's Wally Earth here. So, I remember, I think I remember this from way, way, way back in the day. So, check this out. So, if you've seen the movie Wally, you'd know what this is. But, yeah, it's got a very dirty-looking atmosphere. Obviously, the... Uh, surface below looks very uh abandoned very rugged all dried up no green anywhere so yeah earth from the movie wally -E. check that out by mr miss a lot so there we go uh stat wise uh or not stat wise sorry um i'm just gonna take the clouds off actually so that's what it looks like underneath it's so pretty much just no green whatsoever still got the oceans but it's very apocalyptic so yeah there is his world and yeah no city lights so there we go there is uh the first apocalypse earth now we have got Mad Planet Guys 1 here. So let's go ahead and uh, spawn this in. So let's place it there. And he also has an extra, which is this ring thing I need to put around it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Oh, oh my God, that's massive. Right. Um, so we'll just put the ring there. We'll have to put the earth inside the ring. <laughs> okay, this could get quite a little complicated. So let's put the earth inside the ring. Yeah, he said this ring's like an extra part he brought to the object. So it's an accessory. So we'll just have to make it smaller, drag it inside the earth itself, and then just make it smaller so it fits. So... Something like that, I'm guessing, is um, how we're supposed to do it. So if we just lower it down, like so. So I'm guessing something like this. That's how we uh, intended this object to be seen. So now if we uh, just drag Mr. Miss Lots one closer, just put it there. Right, so this is Mad Planet, guys, one. So it's got a reddish atmosphere on it. If we actually just rotate the Earth. And I need to click the Earth. Right, there we go. So if we just rotate the Earth. Right, well, God. No, not the camera. I need to turn the Earth. Uh, move. There we go. Oh, that's not, it's not actually letting me rotate it. <laughs> right, so we'll just have to go on a flashlight, or studio mode. There we go, that works. So that is his Earth. So it appears to have a texture of a different object on it. You can see it's got craters, stuff like that on it. Oh, wow, I don't even know what texture that is. I can tell the this giant ring here, this is a Venus texture. It's one. Of, it's that weird ring object. I've got a copy of it myself. In um, I sh oh, I should have it in this version of the game. And the, the rings are actually moving. If you look carefully, I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. So I'm guessing the rings like a, it's got like a gas giant sort of property to it. Do I have the ring in this version of the game? I'm not sure. I do. Yeah, I don't think I do. Oh, there, there's yeah, Mad Planet guys. One. Uh, the, my ring. I don't think I've got in this version. I've got it in the newer version, but not in this update 23 version. Right. Never mind them. But yeah, it's pretty cool that the ring, it's actually moving. That is pretty cool. So I'm guessing this ring has been turned into a gas giant or something with the modern, which is just absolutely crazy. But yeah, I can't rotate it. Oh, no, I can rotate it. There we go. So just get it around, get a full look at it. Go back to... Um, oh, no, that's fine. Actually, we'll just keep it on the studio mode. But yeah, there is his Earth. So if we look um, underneath the atmosphere, so it's yeah, white with like a reddish color to it. So that's what it looks like underneath. I'm trying to work out what texture that is. I have not got a clue what texture that is. I, I don't know. I'm guessing it's just one of the moon, outer solar, outer gas giant moons. It looks pretty weird up in um, up here, doesn't it? Look, so Canada is connected to the other side of Russia there. So it's like a lot of the area at the top is actually connected. That's that's quite interesting. You can see um, Africa has fully merged with Asia here. The Mediterranean has been cut off from the Atlantic Ocean. We've got some new islands here in the Atlantic. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, Earth has really uh, changed, hasn't it? Antarctica's got some city lights on it as well. Look at that. Oh, that's weird. Madagascar's got some new islands near it. We can see where the Maldives would be underneath India. Some big islands there as well. Australia has smashed into the land above it as well. That's pretty crazy. New Zealand. Oh, what's going on over here? So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, the continentals or the continents have themselves have kind of changed as well, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, that is his Apocalypse Earth. So, let's just uh, pull it back. All its features back on. So, yeah, he's got that ring to go with it um, as well there. 
Right, now uh, if I just search comp up again, let's see who we have got next. So next up we've got Wasp Poppins Earth. So let's go ahead and place that in. Right, over here. So, oh wow, okay, this looks quite that dark atmosphere. That does look, that does look very dull. I'm looking, that's looking good. I'm liking it. So if we look underneath. So there it is there. So it's got a little more green compared to uh, Mr. Mislot's one here. But yeah, that atmosphere colour, I'll, I'll, I'll rate that. I think that looks quite cool. So, yeah, very, very dark, apocalyptic sky. I mean, yeah, we, we I don't know if we'll be able to view the sky. I mean, but yeah, look at the colour of that atmosphere. So we can't really go too much further underneath. But yeah, look at that atmosphere colour. Wow. Right. So there is Was Poppins Earth there. Alrighty. Now we're uh, moving on. We have got Tispole's Earth. So here we are. Right, let's see what he is prepared for us here. Right, so this one's got a uh, modded atmosphere colour on it as well. If we just rotate it round, uh, let's actually look underneath the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is here. Okay. Oh, oh it's, this earth's got a tint on it as well. Look at that. Oh, it's the um, Amazon rainforest is flooded, as we can see there. We can see bits of North America as well. Right. How we're looking in uh, Europe. We can see bits of Africa, the Mediterranean Ocean spread it onto a bit of the Northern Africa area there. We can see lots of Asia there, a bit of uh, Russia and some of the other countries there, just all flooded up. We can see uh, the United Kingdom as well. You can see where London would be. That's all flooded up, if you look carefully there, roughly. So, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of flooding going on in this uh, version of Earth here. Australia as well, flooded up slightly. So, yeah, there we go. So, there is his Apocalypse Earth. I like the tint to it, after. So I think the tint does look really good. So, there we are. And if we put also the atmosphere back on, looking good. I'm liking it. Right, now moving on, we've got... Uh, uh, Nuster and guy. I hope I'm saying that right. Right, let's see what he is prepared for us. So this one has got a reddish atmosphere on it. So we can see in the trend here, it's like reds, browns, stuff like that. But yeah, let's see his earth. Right. That's looking quite interesting. We look underneath. So it's a all green earth. So it's kind of like um, the apocalypse where everything's just overgrown. All of the infrastructure has just collapsed and nature has taken its course and taken back over the earth. So the whole earth is all green now. So... Yeah, looking good. Look at that. So, yeah, very, very green earth. And obviously, reddish sky. Oh, so, look at that. Get a closer look at the atmosphere there. Very, very red indeed. So, there is uh, his earth. Right. And then moving on, the last one of the day. So, this is Siren's um, earth here. Let's see what he is prepared for us. Oh, my God. This looks like the strangest one of all. What is going on here? Oh, my gosh. Right. As you can see where the continents were. This was Africa, as you can see. You can see um, Europe, United Kingdom, America will be over here. What has happened to this guy? Oh, my God. Well, that this earth has certainly been torn to shreds. Definitely an apocalypse right here. Red land as well. If we look underneath the atmosphere. So that's what it looks like underneath. Oh, my God. Look at that. So this earth has been absolutely trashed. Wowee. Okay. Look at that. So all of the oceans are dried up practically, and the oceans have moved locations. Look at that. So we can see where America was. The Pacific Ocean's just taken over everything on the equator now. That is, this is crazy. This one. So look at that. Wow, we right. So if we uh, obviously put that all back on, there we go. So that is our lineup of the objects. So going through them once again as a uh, just to revise them. So here is Mad Planet guys on with the sweet looking red atmosphere. It has the custom surface section underneath um, there as well, and also has this special ring he uh, asked me to spawn in for it as well. So you can see, um, yeah, there's the ring with a gas giant texture. That is really really cool. Uh, then we have uh, Mr. Mr. Lot's Wally Earth from the movie Wally there. So that's a nice cool one with the uh, sort of pale cream coloured atmosphere, as we can see there. Classic, that one. That is a really old object. Uh, then we have the uh, Depressed Earth. This was, see, I can't, who, who was it? This was, was Poppins Earth, okay? Yeah, but if you can, guys, when you send these in, make sure to put your name in the object. Because I can't see unless I spawn them in again with their names here. Because I have to manually change them in the, in the files and all that. So just please keep that in mind. Uh, and then on to the... Uh, Post climate crisis, sir. So this was Tispole's one, right there. So this was the one with the uh, also a creamy sort of atmosphere. The uh, oceans were slightly overflowed on this one, wasn't it? Um, yeah, the oceans were slightly flooded on there. Then we had a uh, Nuster Sea and Guys one. So this was the one with the reddish earth and the very overgrown green all over the place. Even Antarctica's green. Look at that. No ice, no ice at all. And then uh, we had Sirens one, the absolutely crazy destroyed apocalypse earth i mean that is crazy you see the oceans are green toxic green oceans and stuff as well that is a uh, really insane but yeah there we go that is the full lineup of all of the objects so uh, that's gonna be quite hard to get that ring in there i think but if i just uh i just have to line them up manually i guess so 
How, how would I do that? Actually, no, I'll, I'll just remove the ring because the ring the ring just makes it a little bit more difficult. So there we go. So line them all up. That's the object anyway. The ring is just an accessory. So yeah, there is our full lineup of today's object, guys. So if you would like to vote, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description and there you can vote um, in the poll on there by adding a reaction to the message. But yeah, good luck to everyone in the competition um, as well. And yeah, I'll be very interested to see the results um, for this one. So we've got a really interesting lineup. Every object different in its own way. This earth is a little larger than it should be. Let's pull it, pull it back to one earth. There we go. Right, that's looking better. So they're all nicely lined up now, uh, like so, looking good. Right, so yeah, again, massive good luck to um, everyone in the competition. Yeah, with that all said and done, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let's even go for 30 likes on this video, guys, and also help us on the journey to 18,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to consider subscribing. And yeah, with that um, all done, make sure you have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.